Thank you. I do want to um, make the point that I, I think the recent court decision, the Loper Bright uh, decision, is a big win for the little guy and a big loss for big government. But there's more work to do, as you've heard here today. There's now the legislature, who's often willingly sort of ceded some of this authority uh, to these uh, faceless bureaucrats, uh, has to sort of resume its Article One duties uh, because we're accountable. And I think to take a step back, um, the founders were very well aware of this potential problem. It's why there, we had separation of powers. It's why we have federalism. Is so you spread out power both vertically and horizontally, all with the idea of protecting individual liberty and making sure that no branch of government, no agency, no one person ever had too much power. Well, that has certainly gone awry because that power is now very concentrated in the leviathan of the bureaucracies that lurk in the basements and the buildings of this town. And so this is an opportunity now for the Article I branch to reassert itself. Uh, moving forward, I know I'll be working with uh, these other leaders here on this particular topic with working groups so that the legislature, maybe we're going to be more prescriptive. Maybe it's the RAINS Act, certainly something that I support, because if it's such a good idea, if you think banning gas stoves is such a good idea, Congress should have to vote on it. If you think, you don't, and you don't have any authority to do it, um, moving forward with a student loan debt forgiveness scam that costs taxpayers a half a trillion dollars, we should have to vote on that. And I think that ultimately restores more faith in the, the government it's based on this idea of accountability, that you can send us here, you can send us home, or you can send us back. But ultimately, there's someone you can talk to about the decisions that are being made. And the fundamental problem with the administrative state that we see right now that we have an opportunity to correct is that no one's accountable to anybody.